Okay, we are now going to solve equations that have variables on both sides. So we have a negative 5x on the left side of our equal sign, and we have a 2x on the right side of our equal sign. So first things first, there are many different ways to solve these equations. Um, I'm going to give you my preference, but it's not the only way to do it. What I like to do is get the x to one side first. So I have x on the left, I have x on the right. I want to push it to one side, then I can isolate it the way that I know how to solve the equation. So you have two options. You can add 5x to both sides to get rid of the 5x, the negative 5x, or we can subtract 2x from both sides to push it away from this side to the other side. Um, either way will get us the answer, but what I notice is that if I subtract 2x, I'm going to have a negative. And I think that whenever possible, it's best to avoid negatives and fractions because that's when a lot of mistakes happen. So if we can avoid it, we should. And in this case, we can avoid it by doing plus 5x instead of minus 2x. So I'm going to add 5x to the left side of the equation. And then, of course, I have to add it to the right side as well. Now, when I add it to the right side, remember, I can only add like terms. So the only term on the right side that's a like term of 5x is the 2x. So I'm going to add my 5x right here. Okay. Now... I'm just going to address a common question that I get before I move on. A lot of students ask me, why are we dividing by negative 5? Why are we adding it? Because you guys are so used to dividing by the coefficient to get rid of it, which is correct. If I was trying to get rid of the negative 5 only, I would divide. But I'm trying to get rid of this entire term, negative 5x. So negative 5x is not being multiplied by anything. So the inverse is not division. The inverse of a negative 5x is a positive 5x because I'm trying to get rid of that whole term, not just the negative 5. So plus 5x on this side, plus 5x on this side, negative 5x plus 5x, 0. Plus 3, 3. Equals 2x plus 5x is 7x, and I'm going to bring down the minus 11 that I haven't used yet. Now that x is to one side, I can isolate it by using inverse operations. So I get it to one side first, now I get it by itself. So I'm going to get rid of this negative 11 by doing plus 11 on both sides. 3 plus 11 is 14. Bring down my equal sign, bring down my 7x. Negative 11 plus 11 is 0, but 0 plus 7x is just 7x. So one step away from getting x by itself, I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides because 7 and x are being multiplied, so the inverse is division. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times x is x equals 14 divided by 7 is 2. So my solution here is x equals 2. All right, so again, a recap of the method that I use when I have an x on the left and an x on the right or whatever variable it is. I push it to one side first by using inverse operations, and then I isolate the variable using inverse operations again. Okay, I could have added 11 to both sides to start with, or I could have subtracted 3 from both sides. I would have gotten the same answer no matter what. All right. Let's do another example. I'm going to add another x up here um, to the other side. Let's actually also add some distributing just to make it a little more complex. So let's work with 4x minus 2 equals 3 times 2x minus 1 plus 5x. So there's a lot going on in this equation, right? So let's just tackle it all at once. Again, I will tell you there's not one method to solving this equation. There's a whole bunch of things I could choose to do first. But if you are a person that likes to have a method, a way, a strategy, um, one thing I'll give you is if you can remember these three letters, DCI, this is a good kind of order to go in if you need something. Um, but do recognize that this is not the only way to solve an equation. There are many different ways I can start this. The D stands for distribute. I like to get rid of anything that I can distribute first. So looking at this equation, is there anything to distribute? There is. That 3 outside of the parentheses means that the 3 is being distributed. So I'm going to distribute first, okay? I'm going to bring down everything from the left side because I'm not using it yet. Equals 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times negative 1, negative 3. That 3 is not being multiplied by the 5x. The 5x is not in parentheses. So the 5x is just coming on down, plus 5x. All right, so I've distributed, so my parentheses are gone. This is my new equation. I get the question a lot, is it a minus or is it a negative? It's the same thing, guys, because you can look at this as minus 1, 
but you know that if you keep change change, it's the same as plus negative one. So see the same thing, minus plus however you like to look at it. All right, so now I've distributed. The C stands for combined. So I like to look and see, is there anything on the left that I can combine? On the left side, there is nothing because 4x and negative two are not like terms. I can't combine them. On the right side, I do see like terms. Do you see them? 6x and positive 5x, those are like terms. So I'm gonna combine those, okay? 11x, 6x plus 5x is 11x. And then I'm gonna bring down my minus three and everything else I have not used. 4x and 11x, I'm not gonna combine, right? I'm gonna use what I showed you before. I have to use inverse operations for that. So when I say combine, the C for combine, I just mean on the left and then on the right, okay? Now the final one, the inverse operations, I stands for inverse operation. That's how I can get things from one side to the other. So combining is for on the same side. Inverse operations are gonna be used to push things together that are on opposite sides. So, I see that I have a 4x on my left and an 11x on the right. I would love for x to be on one side. So I am going to subtract 4x from the left, subtract 4x from the right. 4x minus 4x is 0. 0 minus 2, negative 2. 11x minus 4x is 7x. Bring down the minus 3. Now I have a two-step equation. I'm trying to get x by itself. So I'm going to add 3 on both sides. I'm gonna bring it up here, guys, because I'm running out of room. So I have negative two plus three, which is one, equals seven x, and I'm one step away. X is being multiplied by seven, so I'm gonna divide by seven, divide by seven, x is equal to one seven in this case, okay? So again, my three little letters of DCI is not by any means a math law. You have to follow just three letters that if you want a method, if you want some organizational tool, you can use it, you can follow it. There might not always be distributing, there might not always be combining, but it's one thing you could follow. So if they're on the same side, combine the like terms. If they're on opposite sides, use inverse operations. All right, so there's an equation with many variables and different things going on. If you have any questions, please.